Cavs were down six at halftime to the Lakers yesterday. They had allowed Los Angeles to score 64 points in the first half. Uh, they won their eighth straight. In the second half, they limited L.A. to just 36 points. Let's head into the Cavs locker room and listen as they award the junkyard dog chain. Um, it was introduced last February, given out after a win to the player who most fully personifies the scrap mentality and intensity the team is aiming for. Okay, because we know what we're capable of and we're trying to build those habits. All right? Sure. Um, Over here. Okay, thanks. It ain't in there. Hey now! Hey, hey now! Oh. Hey! This is unprecedented in junkyard dog history. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you this right now. Hey! After that <laughs> halftime speech, we're giving it to John Clare. <laughs> 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 With that, let's welcome in Sam Miko, HoopsWire.com. Sam, I absolutely uh, love it. Uh, another indication of how the team responds to their head coach. Well, he certainly deserves it, right? <laughs> I mean, you think about what he probably said at halftime because uh, the Cavs just weren't playing, as he says, a lot. Cleveland Cavaliers basketball, which tends to focus on, uh, you know, the defensive side. Uh, when things aren't working, it almost seemed like, you know, as teams can be when they get to Los Angeles, a little bit starstruck, and not just because LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and Russell Westbrook, but you also have all those stars sitting in the stands as well. So uh, anytime you play the Lakers, you know, I think JB's message was, look, they've got all the glitz and all that stuff, but this year we're the better basketball team, and uh, we need to go out and prove it. We're going to do that uh, by by defending, bending our knees, shuffling our feet, and uh, getting after it. And sure enough, the Cavs came out in the third quarter, responded to their coach, and uh, played their style of basketball, style of basketball that's really been working very well in the early season. Yeah, and again, for a young team, he just seems to know exactly how to deal with this group. Yeah, you know, it's it's not only a young team, but uh, a team that really kind of is new when you add in a guy like Donovan Mitchell, uh, who I think has been better than the Cavs even expected already, uh, just because he's kind of taken his game up another level, even from last season when he was with the Jazz or when he was with, you know, a three-time All-Star, just the way he's scoring and taking over games and and he's almost like the Cavs, Nick Chubb. You know, I mean, he can get wherever he wants on the floor without too much, uh, too much, you know, doesn't need a lot of picks. He can do it individually, yet he stays within the team concept. So uh, really when the Cavs turned it around there in the third quarter, it was truly a team-wide effort. And then as the game got close or stayed close, the Cavs were staying close, then you had Mitchell and Darius Garland taking over, and I suspect we're going to see a lot more of that this season. 